Are you struggling with making hair? The tutorials make one hairstyle, but you're stuck making anything else. No worries. By the end of this video, you have the knowledge and the skills to make any low poly hairstyle inside of Blender. Let's hop in with step one. The first thing we need to do is have a sculpt with our character. To make that, all I'm going to do is going to select my body and go to edit mode. Then go to face select mode. And then we can just, I'm going to press C for the selection. And then just start left click and drag like this. Then I can just right click or escape to get out of it. And then just shift and D to duplicate and then P bar selection. Now I'm going to add a solidify, drag the thickness up slightly. Uh, and then in edit mode, I'm going to click on this little solidify, the little triangle. So that means I can actually see all the like points like this. The easiest way to shape this is with the knife tool. So I'm going to press K to pull it up. Uh, and then basically what we can do is just kind of shape the sculpt like this. I would usually go like here. You can either or you can just like drag it down like that if you wanted. Uh, and then sometimes I like to just add in like the the ear like piece, like the the part that comes down from the ear and go down like that and then maybe there and then just select these faces and then just delete x faces x faces you can see so that's like a decent start for sculpt uh, and then we'll start shaping it uh, later with all the different hairstyles right cool so when you're making long hair the first thing you should do is just grab different parts of the mesh and then just start extruding them down. So you can grab parts, you might have to delete some just to get them like straighter. You might have to just like if they go all the way down the back of the neck, you can delete those just extruding them down. And yeah, you kind of already have something basic to work with. But then there's a couple things you could do to make them look even better. Number one, you can add little edges at the bottom of the hair. This is now nice because then you can either drag it in or out. So you can have it like spilling out into the side of the shoulders, or you can have it like spilling it like in and then like kind of bulging in. Personally, over here, I liked having it like go curving in, uh, just look nicer to me. And then the second way you can make it look better is by just making it asymmetrical because having symmetrical is not as nice. So just make it asymmetrical, I brought stuff down in the front uh, and then the left side I added like the little ed edge. So basically all I did to do that was literally just use an knife tool and then just add an edge and then drag it in and then drag the other two out and it'll look quite nice. So basically like this, just having a little edge like this makes it look quite nice. All right, the bun is pretty simple. All you have to do is grab a cube and then subdivide it and you've kind of already done. But to make it look better, you can either, in this case, I did it with just grabbing a piece and then duplicating it and making it like a separate object and having that on top, which I don't think turned out very nasty. But I think what you can do is grab the knife tool and then just like add an edge and then just start adding like some more bump to it, which will actually look quite nice. All right, bangs can look quite nice on the character. The first thing you need to do to make bangs is just go to the sculpt and duplicate a part of it. Just, just a single edge, that's all you need. Then you're gonna be using this to turn it into the bang. So make his own object with P bar selection. And then this can be used to just extrude down and you kind of really have the start of the bang. Now, it looks a lot nicer if you add in some curves. Let me explain why. All right, so the reason having a curve in this is just makes it look nicer is just because curves in nature just make stuff look a lot more nice and just having some sort of flow and not just there. Because the thing is, if you have bangs, so having something like this, even like when I'm drawing this, I'm like trying to not taper it. Because the thing is, if you just have a completely straight line, like no pressure sensitivity, whatever, just like this. So if you'll have it like this, it kind of looks boring. So there's two ways you can add curves to it. Other one, you could taper it or you can just obviously just completely curve it. So one way is just so you can just like curve it around like this. Just having like curves in the banks make it look a lot nicer and then just in all the parts of the hair or the other option you have is by tapering them so if we taper it something like this to make it big and then you kind of like make it fall off like that so that can be the other type of like curve that you add to your your hair so just adding those curves and tapers makes stuff look so much nicer by the way hit the like button if you're this video Okay, cool. Something I like to do as well is just adding like little pieces of hair that kind of go along the sides. Now, this is going to be very similar to the bangs, except for instead of extruding it down, we're just going to extrude it along the side of the head. So you can either extrude it yourself or then just duplicate parts of the hair, depending on how good your topology is like flowing back. But you might just have to extrude it out yourself. Uh, and then another thing, just add another curve and add another taper makes it look nice this can be cool if you're doing like a ponytail or something else like when you have the hair like pulled back along the head all right cool let's talk about ponytails so ponytails kind of simple at the beginning 
all you have to do is just add in a circle make it like something like six eight ten vertices depending on how big you want it so i recommend going like six or eight then just extrude it out and then the beginning is going to be like where the like actual like uh, elastic thing is holding it in this is going to be very small then it's going to extrude out after that so like puffs up all the hairs there uh, and then the hair will kind of like just gradually be less and less hair so kind of like tapers in towards the bottom then again this will be a very nice place to add in a curve so you can see here in the top it has this very like small section for the point like where the elastic is and you can see it puffs up so again having nice curves just kind of like this so you can see it like gets big uh, and then goes down usually it would like taper off more like like something like that uh, and then you can kind of like curve it again at the end just like that so just adding more tapering and stuff like that can really make them look so much nicer for a lot of these hairstyles i really recommend looking at reference while you're modeling them to make the ponytail look even better we can do something similar to what we've done before where we just duplicate part of the ponytail and then just make that slightly thicker and then start moving that around just to add like some three strands of hair uh, just to like elevate that look add more detail because uh, just having the plain shape doesn't look as nice and then just adding those extra little bits of detail can really make it look a lot nicer okay then we're going to talk about like short hair and this is usually where they'll have a lot more volume in the hair the base is just kind of very similar to doing the long hair you just do the exact same thing extrude it down and then just bring it down to like shoulder length or less then there's this cool way to add random thicknesses so let me show you that right now okay cool so here is a model that i have so it's actually just a shortened version of the long hair what you can do is you can go to this place called the vertex groups then just click plus and then you have a group and i'm just going to call this uh, thickness uh, this just helps for us to find it later um, and then you can either go into edit mode and set this up or go into weight paint mode so weight paint mode will basically just show us blue to red version of this which is basically blue zero and then red is one now what we can do here so with our solidifier if we put the thickness uh, thing over here then you can see everything becomes completely thin so there's zero effective uh, of our solidifier so what we can do with this is we can drag up the thickness and then if we should go to the top left and go to draw in our weight paint mode and then shift f you can change the strength you can see here we can paint and choose the thickness of the hair so if we make the thickness quite like wild like this uh, and then have our thickness on here you can see when we start weight painting it will start adding that slight thickness uh, to it and then depending on how like strong your weight paint is you can have like a very uh, thing here so at the bottom you'd usually want to add like close to one so it'll be even, like fully red and then on the top you can just have a very light color just to make sure that you still have some sort of thickness on the top of the head but you don't have it uh, all the way around then also if you have more like topology along the edges you can add like some more tapering and curves into the hair uh, just to make it look a bit nicer so something like this if we make it there make it a bit bright in the middle uh, and then slightly darker over here this is quite a useful method when uh, working with the hair to make this look good it will also help if you like start splitting pieces uh, and just like moving them adding random thicknesses so you kind of have like more layered look to the hair uh, which can really make this look uh, just a little bit better all right so at the end i want to kind of add like just experiment making some like braids or pigtails depending on how you call them this is completely just an experiment and i think it actually turned out pretty decently basically all you have to do is just extrude out like a single piece kind of similar to like the bangs and then just bring them down like across the shoulders or down the back uh, depending on what you're doing then what i did is i just split them split them in half you could also do it in three that's how they actually work but yeah two work fun then start adding in like quite a few edges uh, just along the whole like length of it and then what you can do is just start like flipping them over just bringing them on either side just to kind of get that crisscross look then what i did is just rotate some of them just to kind of like make the shape look more like actual braid yeah and it turned out okay cool if you enjoyed this video you might want to watch a full video on how to make low poly characters from start to finish click over here to watch that one cheers